Hello and welcome to the Turn Mas de Rio Hondo circuit in Argentina for live coverage of the MotoGP Grand Prix. As you can tell from the live pictures we're bringing you, it's going to be fine weather for the race. Hello and welcome to another video and as you can see we're doing another 2018 mod video on MotoGP 17 but it's a twist today added we have got an AI mod that I've been working on to improve the speed of the AI and this is done by basically uh, modding the tyre files for the AI to make it so that they have more grip I've given them one value more grip which gives them around, I've seen about two seconds a lap improvement at each circuit. As you can see, I don't think it affects qualifying, but we will see how fast they are in the race. It should be a good one. All the riders on the grid at Termas de Rio Hondo. Concentration at a high, because this running of the Argentinian Grand Prix will start any moment now. Yes, it will start any moment now. See, Vinales is ready at the back of the grid. He's going to make a good start. They're still bad off the start, so we're going to probably still gain a lot of time. Lights out, and away we go. Already past two rows of riders there. You can see Siren going around his outside, and Rabat and Bauti. So him, Rabat a little bit there. You can see Miller's just in front of me. And all the inside of Miller, all the inside of Rin. So you see now the next victim is Scott Redding. I'm going to have an attack at him in a minute. He's trying to pass his teammate though, he's passed his teammate, he's passing a few other riders, passing Nakagami and Morbidelli as well. Look inside of them, also Petrucci, could try and go around the outside of Zarco, but I've had to leave a bit of room, so I've put me on the compromised lines, so Petrucci's through. And that's been a very hectic start, we've passed 14 places already, but you can see Redding's now trying to side, so he's been very aggressive in this race so far. As you can see, breaking nice and late, going to have a look at the inside of Zarco and Petrucci, not quite doing it though. Pass Zarco, pass Petrucci now though. Just their mid corner speed been pretty awful, so the next rider is Ian One now. And you can see he has got a black helmet, but it's a HJC helmet, and that is why I've made it. But his visor is still pretty much intact. Running wide though, running super wide, we're surely going to get past. Surely. Yes, we've been passed by Petrucci, so this bagger couldn't quite get through. I'm trying to go around the outside of Petrucci, not quite been able to do it though. Oh, right on his rear tyre. Basically, sitting on the back of his bike. Oh, diving on the inside of Petrucci, hit him a little bit, he's kept the position though, so it's not too bad. I mean, it has cost him a little bit of time, but I don't feel too bad about it. Go for the dive, am I, am I, yes, up into P8 now. You can see Inono's desperate to try and get past Cal Crutchlow. I've got a pretty good last corner going there, and I've got a little bit of a run. You can see Inono's ready to pull out the assist stream and get past Cal Crutchlow. He's trying to go to the inside of Cal Crutch. Oh, yes, he hits him a little bit wide. That's through both their pace, so I've passed both of them now. So Ian has messed that up for both of them by allowing me to get to the inside. So now the next victim is Danny Pedrosa, and then you can see Davizioso Rossi, and then you can see Marquez and Lorenzo battling for the lead there, up in first position, or first and second positions, respectively. So Pedrosa is only 0.8 in front, so we're going to try have a go at trying to pass him. It should be fairly difficult to catch him really. I've broken pretty nicely there. You can see I've made up quite a bit of time. I don't know what's going on with this tyre, why it's going white. Uh, I guess that's just the game's like level of detail just being terrible because I can clearly still see enough of him that he should still be showing up. Maybe that could happen with like Marquez or Lorenzo up at front. Oh, I think. Oh, he's getting pretty close. Yeah, I was going to say Marquez just made the move on Lorenzo. See, trying to just catch him, and it's not really working. Crutchlow and Iannone having a bit of a battle behind. You can see Crutchlow's just past Iannone. Running quite wide there, though. Are they going to do anything about it? No, but you can see the arrows are very close now, so they are going to have an attack. I'm now 1.4 behind Pedrosa and 0.2 in front of Crutchlow. You can see Crutchlow's trying to get the inside, but not quite being able to do it. He's, I mean, he's a little bit far behind, but I can see his arrow going for the inside. You see, I've got defensive into penultimate turn, so they can't do anything about it. You see, I am making some inroads up yet again on Pedrosa. But not really enough. That was a terrible last corner. You see Ian Erno's back in front of Crutchlow now. So we are about, well, we've just started the last lap actually. We're going down towards turn one. You can see making some inroads again on Pedrosa. So in certain areas of this track, I'm definitely faster than the Honda rider. But then there's areas where I am not so fast. So he is faster than me. You can see he is. Oh, I've ran super wide, really deep into turn two there. 
So that's going to allow Crutchlow to be all over me. Actually, Ian Oney isn't it now because Ian only passed Crutchlow. Yeah, he's 0.7 behind. In fact, we've actually both caught up to Pedrosa. He's only 1.1 in front of me now. But you can see he's going for the move on Dobby up ahead. Is he going to do it on the brakes? Uh, not quite been able to do it, but he had a look. Lorenzo's taking the lead, but run is so wide. That was bad. I think I probably got distracted there, but Crutchlow's past Ian Oney now. So that's bought us a little bit of time. But they're battling. Yeah, see, so we're still 0.7 in front, but now Pedro's 1.3, so any chance of catching him are out of the window now. Oh, Marquez and Lorenzo still battling, but it's just got to focus on me now, because you can see they are very close to me, Crutchlow and Ian Oney. Running really wide to that corner, that was terrible. Oh, Crutchlow's through, Ian Oney's back through again. So now you can see, trying to go to the other side. Oh no, not quite able to. That made the corner pretty bad. I'd be so desperate. You can see, Inone is desperate to get past Crutchlow, but I think he's running out of places to go. The AI are pretty weak at this corner, so I'm going to have a dive. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. I've got the inside touch. Touch a little bit there. You see, Crutchlow's still in front. So sweeping to the inside, past Crutchlow, to the line of beating him. P6. Well, I have to say, that was the hardest P6 I've ever fought for in my life. But yeah, you can see a 33.7 for Marquez, so that's pretty fast. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.